And there are two purposes to this video. One is that we are going to take a walk around certain places, point places that live in to you and I. And uh, I'm joined today by my good pal Heinz. And uh, so first, we are going to talk about the place where we met, which is here at the FT office, office where you and I met and eventually uh, got to know each other better and came to become a couple. So uh, here's the place, and um, off to our next stop. Okay, so now we are in the New York Hilton right across the street from your office and uh, this is a pretty significant place for us because we've had many a lunch here. We have met here to sit down and talk and be by ourselves and during the time that we, uh, no one really knew about us in the office, we would come here to sort of hide out from everybody and we would uh, talk and eat and you know, among other things. And so I thought it was pretty important that I recognize this place here as being a pretty special place for us. So, uh, off to our next stop. Okay, so now we're in the park, specifically just outside the gazebo in the park. And uh, I've always found this to be an important place for us because one, we always had lunch here when the weather was nice. We spent a lot of time walking in the park and there was one particular night we were coming home from some place and we stopped right here in front of the gazebo and spent some time here as well. And uh, I think you don't remember what I'm talking about. So I thought it was important to uh, pinpoint this place as well. So off to our next stop. All right. Okay, so where I'm standing right now has no particular significance. But if you look over my shoulder, you'll see a burgundy van, which have, does bear a small resemblance to the van you used to have started dating. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because it was in that van that you were driving me back to the train one night and in the midst of our discussion I very angrily admitted that I loved you. And uh, I have to be honest, I still really haven't gotten over that. So I'm kind of still pissed about that. But you know, that's the first place where I told him so I thought I should point that out. So now off to our next stop. Okay, so we are now standing at the World Yacht Pier where you and I came to see Bad Brains play for the Rocksoft Concert Crew Series and that was significant for me because it was the first time that I ever taken someone to a hardcore show that actually had a great time. So uh, that was a blast for us as you remember and it made me very happy that you came along and that we had an amazing time. and. Uh, that was a big deal for me, and I'm sure it was for you, and so now uh, we're off to our next stop. Okay, so now we are standing at the bus stop where we were dropped off on the night of one of the FT Christmas parties. Uh, we shared an especially great cab ride home that night, and when the car dropped us off right about here, was where you told me that you loved me. And for some strange reason, you seem to take that a lot better than when I told you the same thing. But uh, this is obviously an important place because this is where you reciprocated your feelings as well. So uh, that's for this place. And now on to our next and last stop. Okay, so here we are at my last stop. We are standing in front of my apartment building where I've lived for almost 10 years and uh, this place is obviously significant because for starters it was the first place we were ever alone together. Uh, it has been the site for numerous date nights and uh, where both you and Mac have stayed with me and uh, were places where you've, the place where you've parked outside most of the time we were worried about your car being safe outside my building. And uh, in any case, um, I mentioned earlier that uh, there were two reasons for me doing this. The first was to uh, discuss and show you where I was going to be uh, showing you places where we, uh, that were significant to the two of us. And uh, there's a second reason. And the second reason is that I have to ask you something. But I'm not going to ask. The real me is going to ask. So, you're on. 